to Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now going to continue on with my videos. The C12 exam is fast approaching. I've been asked to answer question 7, part C. Um, before, I might have just done the whole question, but as the exam is very close and I've got quite a few requests to answer, I will just focus on those parts which have been asked about, okay, to save some time. And later on, maybe I will um, include the rest. Um, okay, so I've, I've been asked to answer part C of question 7 from June 2017, IAL C12. Now, the curve with equation y equals f of x meets the line with equation y equals k, where k is a constant at two distinct points. State the set of possible values for k. So we can see that this, we were also told earlier, this is like an asymptote, this area here, y equals 10. From this side, from the, from the negative side here, this line, y equals f of x, will never touch this particular line, y equals 10. Okay, so they're saying that there's a line, which is a horizontal line, y equals k. y equals a constant, okay, k is a constant. That means it's like going to be a, a horizontal line, which is, um, you know, it's just a number, y equals a number, so it's going to be horizontal. Okay, now, what they're saying is, this line, y equals k, get hold of it, all right, will meet the curve at two distinct points. Now, if you look at this, this is where y equals 5. Okay, this is the point where y equals 5. Everywhere before y equals 5, so for example, if k is 4.9, or 3, or 2, or minus 10, it will never hit the curve, all right? So it will not hit at any point. If you take the, the when y is equal to 5, this is where y is equal to 5, it's a tangent to the curve at y equals 5. It just touches at one point. Everywhere above y equals 5, you see now there's two places where it meets the curve. There's two places, there's two places, okay, all the way up to just before y equals 10. All right, once you reach y equals 10, which is an asymptote for the curve on this side, all right, then it will stop hitting the curve. It'll only hit it once. There'll only be one solution from y equals 10 and upwards, there'll be one solution. Okay, it will continue, the curve will continue going up this way, by the way. So, you can see that the places where there will be two distinct solutions are everywhere greater than 2, sorry, greater than 5, greater than y equals 5, and less than y equals 10. Okay, so that's what this question means. So, you can see this is the point 10 on the y-axis, and we have, whoops, And this is the point 5 on the y-axis. Okay. So we can say, see, as long as the line y equals k is somewhere between 5 and 10, okay, as long as it's between 5 and 10, then there would be two distinct solutions. So we can say that the set of possible values for k, our k must be between 5 and 10. Oops, got the sign there. 5 and 10. Okay, not including 5 and not including 10. If you include 5, there's only one solution. Okay, because there will be a tangent at that point. If you include 10, there will be again only one solution because this line never touches y equals 10 on this side, it only touches on that side. Okay, so that's just the answer to this question. Pretty simple little piece of a question. Um, uh, I'll go on to the next request in the next video. Thank you for watching.